This is a question from the mathematics section of the HSPT practice test. How much is 4 and 171 thousandths plus 4 and 55 hundredths if the sum is rounded to the nearest tenth? It's important to keep in mind that you are not allowed to use a calculator on the HSPT exam. So we need to work this just using a pencil and paper. We start by adding 4 and 171 thousandths and 4 and 55 hundredths. So when you add or subtract decimals, make sure that your decimals are lined up. And what you can do is add zeros to the end of any number after a decimal. That way it helps you line them up. So 1 plus 0 is 1. 7 plus 5 is 12. Carry the 1. 5, 6, 7, bring down, <coughs> excuse me, bring down your decimal, and 4 plus 4 is 8. So our answer is 8 and 721 thousandths, but we need to round it to the nearest tenths place. The number in the tenths place is the 7. We round based on the number to the right of the place we're rounding to. So the 2 tells the 7 what to do. And this number, the number next to the number we're rounding to, if it's 5 or greater, we round up. And if it's under 5, we stay. So the 2 tells the 7 to stay, so it's simply 8 and 7 tenths, or B. So there you have a practice question from the HSPT test. Good luck. Here's a question from the mathematics section of the HSPT practice test. On the HSPT exam, you are not allowed to use a calculator. So we're going to work on working this problem without one. What is the area of a square with perimeter 44 centimeters? We're going to start with what I know, or what we know, which is that the perimeter of the square is 44 centimeters. The formula for the perimeter of a square is P equals 4 times S. Since every side is the same length and the perimeter of a shape is simply the distance around the entire shape. So it would be those four sides. And then the perimeter is 44, so we substitute 44 centimeters for perimeter equals 4 times the length of each side. Now we can solve for the length of the side by dividing both sides by 4. So 11 centimeters is the length of each side of the square. Now that we know the length of each side, we can find the area of the square. The area of a square is side squared because, again, the lengths of the sides are the same. So instead of base times height or length times width, it's side times side or side squared. And the length of the side is 11 centimeters. So the area is 11 centimeters squared. And 11 times 11, that's what 11 centimeters squared means. It means 11 times itself two times. So 11 times 11 is 121 centimeters squared, or D. There you have an HSPT practice question. This is a mathematics question from an HSPT practice test. Keep in mind that on the HSPT exam, you cannot use a calculator. Add 2y plus 3x plus 11 and 3x minus y plus 4. Looking at our answers, they all start, besides d, with y. So I'm going to start with adding the y terms together, 2y and negative y. So it's just 2y minus a y. 2 minus 1 is 1, so there's one y left. Next we have our x terms, so then we add those together. We have a positive 3x plus another positive 3x. So 3x's plus three more x's is 6x, and it's positive, so it's plus 6x. Finally, we have our constants, or just the numbers. 
plus 11 and plus 4. 11 plus 4 is 15. So plus 15. So that's our answer. Y plus 6X plus 15. Keep in mind you can only add like terms. And like terms mean that their variable terms are exactly the same, or their variable factors are exactly the same, like 2y and negative y. The variable factor is y, and it's exactly the same. Good luck on your HSPT test. This is a question from the HSPT mathematics section of a practice test. The ratio of cats to dogs at an animal shelter is 3 to 2. If there are 45 cats in the shelter, how many dogs are there? We're given a ratio, <clears throat> 3 to 2, and we're told that that ratio is the number of cats to the number of dogs. So those are our cats and those are our dogs. <clears throat> This is a question from the mathematics section of the HSVT practice test. The ratio of cats to dogs at an animal shelter is 3 to 2. If there are 45 cats in the shelter, how many dogs are there? It's important to keep in mind that on the HSPT exam, you won't be able to use a calculator. So we're going to work this question without one. Starting with our ratio 3 to 2. That ratio is the number of cats to dogs. So this is our number of cats to our number of dogs. Then we were told that there are actually 45 cats at the shelter. So now what we have is a proportion. And what we don't know is our number of dogs. You can solve proportions using cross products or cross multiplication. So that's what we'll do. 3 times D is 3D, and that's equal to 2 times 45, or 90. Then solve for D by dividing both sides by 3. So D is equal to 30. That means there are 30 dogs in the shelter. And there you have an HSPT practice question for your HSPT test. Good luck!